idea kind of, um, you know, a little bit like a lecture where somebody gives a kind of presentation, you all sit there and look, you know, pretend to look interested. The idea is, is, is to do something a little bit more informal, a little bit more relaxed, and hopefully something where you'll be able to get a good perspective from a, a wide range of people about your employability. Well, the things that make you stand out is experience and showing that you are really passionate about what you want to do in the future. Um, one of the big things I would say is, like, can I always say, is work experience. Um, now, quite a lot of people are allowed to play the field in terms of their academic grades. Um, so, work experience and showing um, that when you have time off in the summer, that you're going out there. Um, get Part of that process is about getting you to think as an individual. What are the, what are the things that you've got to offer? What are your skills? What are your abilities? What will need to be prepared for in that first three months? You're going to be tired. Yeah. That's one of those things I'll say. It's like student life is very different to work life. I definitely agree with that. Um, I pace yourself. I think uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, three months not very long in business and even your first year is one year of the next 50. You don't have to you know, do as much as the CEO in that first year. Um, yeah, I think the targeting it is definitely um, a big one. We receive a lot of emails daily, um, whether it's just a general from application or for work experience. Um, and some of them you can tell are very generic and they've just sent them to a lot of companies. Um, and sometimes they leave them CMS is even addressed when they've sent to instances of that as well. Um, especially in the software, I've worked in, in computing for real like embedding systems where you know like people can die, but most jobs, no one's gonna die if you get something wrong. <laughs> uh, and he had a first in-law from Swansea and they employed him purely because he had a very different personality to a lot of the people they were used to seeing. And he commented that there's a culture change happening in a lot of big companies. The biggest thing you're looking for really is attitude. And you're trying to visualise that person in your team and think, is that person actually going to fit in? Is that person going to go the extra mile? Um, the number one thing for me is teamwork. It's definitely a two-way thing. You're testing them out just as much as they're yes. testing you out. Any, any questions? The event is called Question Time. So it would be nice <laughs> if people did have, <laughs> did have any questions. <laughs> I just wanted to, you were talking about um, working hard in the first few months, but what, how would you describe that transition between working hard and overdoing it? Because I'm quite passionate sometimes, I was yeah. really into it. Yeah, I, 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 the point where you go over is when you start to know that you start to snap at people. And it's that point when you go, actually, no, I need to start being like the team is there to help me. So I'm just, I think don't be frightened to ask your colleagues for help as well because it's very few people who say, oh sorry, that's not my job or what you struggle with. And in an interview, I want to know why the interviewee, well the interviewers, like their company. Okay, you're, you're both testing each other out in an interview, it's not just who feels like me and hi me, because you, you may not get a good vibe from that company yourself. So, I think asking that question would be a big tick in the box for yeah. most employers. Uh, and you're completely right. I took me quite a few jobs to work out that actually it was a two-way process. Um, and I made some big mistakes. And I just you know, I just couldn't get someone to say yes and employ me, and that's what I was going for. And that's the biggest mistake you know, Check their mag into you down just as much. I thought the event was really great um, because there was a, a lot of good stuff, good, good tips on how to make a proper interview. Um, I was really glad that we actually decided to come to this event like an hour before. It was really helpful and by now I know what my next step is and it definitely did help me to prepare myself. So it's nice to actually talk to people in industry and see a little bit more about what they hear from applications and a bit more in depth. And I enjoyed answering the questions. They made it quite low-key, nice and friendly and accessible. I felt like we had a really diverse range of questions and I think from the feedback we're getting it was really successful and I'd really like to run another one of those events again.